Hey guys, this is Scuff TV. Today we're on the road with snowboarding gurus Quentin Roberts and Marcus Well. We check in Cloud9 for the invitation we're over in the Philippines. But right now we go check in with Ace Bucken as he just took out the quick pro in France against eight-time world champ Kelly Slater. I do, yeah. Just he gave it to me last year, so I'm gonna give it straight back. <laughs> Number nine, nine lives. That's kind of like his his story, isn't it? I mean, and every heat you can't count him out. He's got nine lives. Congratulations, Ace Bucket, on your win over in France. Right now, we're going over to NZ, hanging with Quentin Robbins and Marcus Well. Good morning. You're rolling with uh, Quentin Robbins from Christchurch, New Zealand. Lots of snow up here in Canterbury. I'm loving it. Hanging out here, doing a bit of riding, keeping away from all the crowds. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be uh, based up in Canterbury for a change. Been down in Wanaka the last few years. It's kind of nice up here, there's not so much of a zoo out there. It's a bit quieter on the field. Super nice, usually you only got 20 or 30 people on the hill in the day, so different style, but more easy style. We are the Zion of the lives. Check reacts. Check the facts. Yo, I found my metabolism. Yeah, a little bit of skateboarding in, in amongst it all. Not too much. It's been pretty wet, but a few little indoor park sessions. Christchurch is really good for skating. Heaps, heaps of good skate parks out there in Christchurch. Pretty good place to be. It's only an hour, hour and a half to drive out to the mountains, which is nice. Another water trap. Oh, hazard, hazard. All right. Yeah, I've been uh, riding for quite some time now. Pretty much back-to-back -back winters since 93. A bit more concentrated on just free riding and hanging out with photographers and just trying to get really cool images and, and footage. Had a good dash at some contests and don't really need to do too many contests anymore. Getting a little older, just 
clicked over 34 this year. But pretty stoked, still feeling good, everything's hanging together real good. As far as I'm looking ahead right now, next couple of years I'll keep on shredding hard. Got no idea really what I'm gonna do after all this. Whoa, hazard. Water hazard. Woo! Oh. here, coming all the way straight out of Mefflin Skate Park at the moment. I'm just here with Trevor Pointing, he's showing us the, through the hoops. Just been up in uh, Temple Basin with the DVS team, getting some really good powder. Pretty much uh, heliboarding on a rope tow, it was all good. Just the three of us on the run, all the crew eating good food, having good times. I've been in NZ for about oof, going on four years now, just doing a bit of uh, building work over the summers, a lot of skateboarding, and then just try and get down to the South Island for the winters and whatnot, do a bit of shredding. I think the couple of summers I've had off have actually made me more motivated to snowboard rather than going overseas and just getting burnt out on it. Just having a bit of time off has made me a lot more motivated to go riding and get out there. And You think of it a little bit differently, you know? Pretty much, I came home one day after probably five, six years of skiing. My mum had bought my, me and my brother Jordan skateboards from Kmart. And from then on, it was just sitting on your knees, going down the school, little hill, and then saw a snowboard. I'm like, oh, that looks what I want to do, you know? That's pretty much how it all stemmed out. And I still skate as much as I can. It's like, it's probably my number one favorite at the moment, because you just need this little piece of wood and a piece of concrete and good times. No lift ticket, freaking no wetsuits, whatever. It's all good. <laughs> Coming up next, the Cloud9 Invitational over in the Philippines.